Tyco number 936, operating gold mine, introduced in 1979 and last appearing in 1981. This accessory decorated for Tyco's Clementine train set number 7333. The operating gold mine was among the set's contents that was also listed in 79 as a separate item in the action cars and accessories line. This is the more elaborate offering of the three conveyor belts offered by Tyco. The operating gold mine set includes operating conveyor, operating dump car, trackside bin, and gold ore which are jewelry like beads. Tyco number 922 operating gravel conveyor also joining the product line in 1979 with the operating gold mine. This set includes operating conveyor and gravel. No dump car or bin is included with this set. The operating gravel dump does go with Tyco accessory number 929 operating gravel dump car set which was released in 1979 year only. Tyco number 870 operating grain elevator introduced in 1981 last cataloged in 1982 is decorated for the Perina Chows. This set includes no operating car or bin. The Perina Child's operating grain conveyor varies in the sense that the conveyor has crates instead of the jewelry beads and these are the same crates used in the post office set and the unloading Burlington boxcar set. The example I'm going to use is the operating gravel dump number 922 and it's in the plastic I'm going to rip it off. Pretty old plastic by the way. And this is what the set contents look like brand new out of the box. It's pretty tight. Gonna pull the bottom up. And your gravel is located underneath. Along with the bin chute. Here are the pieces out of the box. You got your uh, gravel beads here, bin chute, conveyor support, roof for the uh, crank house gears, and this goes on top of the bins once assembled. Once you get the two sides assembled, they snap down in the holes here, just like this. This is a brand new piece, so it's pretty tight fitting. And it's snapped in there like that. Here's the conveyor piece out of the bag. It's got a platform. These are snapped down in like that. This piece here goes on the end of the conveyor. I'll show you in just a second. All right, and to put the conveyor support in goes like this. Just lays on there. This here's the bin chute. It goes in just like this. Just drops down. And then your ring, this piece here goes on top, just to keep it together at the top. Then your black flap goes on right here. This keeps the material from falling back off the belt, supposedly. We'll see how good that works here in a second. When you turn the crank, the belt will move like this. And now a demonstration. This is how all of them should work when assembled. And it's not the best operating accessory, but it does work. Once your car is full, you just flip it over into the bin. The little tab on the left of the car right here is what holds it while you dump it over. To load your gold back into the conveyor, just grab the tray and slide it out and dump into the top just like that. 